Got something big in here. Ryobi. That's a real, I think a real horn. And that's a real metal. Yeah, that's cool. I could tell he had like a total maritime theme in his house. Oh, and that is neat. Looks like he goes over something. 1985 by Avon. Chest set, okay. Chest set, got it, check. That is kind of neat too. There might be a little bit of value here. That's cool and complete. What is this? <laughs> this is... <laughs> okay. The box itself, I think, should probably be 20 bucks. This one, however, has got the loot. It's got the loot. Uh-oh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's a jewelry box right there. That is a jewelry box. Whoa. What the heck? Uh-oh. That's a cash box. That's a cash box. What's up, Locker Nuts? Okay, look at this. I got a big old operation going on here. Got a little bit of wind too. I am dirty, I'm sweaty, I'm a little tired because I've been working all day. Not just on this unit right here. I got one down there that we finished. And then I was also helping my mom clean some stuff out from her house because she's moving. So we've got the big trailer here. This is a pretty good sized trailer and it's, it's getting close to full. Not quite yet, which is a good thing because we've got all this left to go. A lot of boxes, few shelves. And I got about two hours to knock this out before the facility closes. I don't want to come back tomorrow if I don't have to, but uh, mm, mm, there's a lot. You know what we might have to do? We might have to like throw some boxes in at the end and finish those up tomorrow. Just do it right out of the trailer. Whatever needs to be done, we're up for it because why? Because we are locker nuts. This is what we live for, right? <laughs> Going through lockers, digging through boxes, finding that treasure. This locker, yeah, it's produced some interesting stuff. Definitely a few treasures. Not as many as I wanted there to be, but we still got hope because this is, look at, this is like a, that's a trunk right there. Rusty old metal trunk, interesting. We thought that was a safe. It's not, it's a copier stand, but still, look at that right there, that foremost, that anod, was that anodized steel? I forget what it's called, but uh, yeah, like from a grocery store or something, that right there. This guy was a handyman, and so we've been finding a lot of tools. Uh, he's about 60 years old, don't know what happened to the guy. Don't know why he stopped paying the facility, just stopped hearing from him. But I paid 530 bucks to get this locker and find out what's in it. The one down the row, same owner, we paid 750 for that one. We went through that a couple episodes ago and uh, it was not as full as this one. This is the one I was most excited about because all these boxes really. Without any more ado, let's get, let's get into it. Let's go, you guys ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's grab this right here. I want to clean this uh, shelf off so I can load the shelf. Contents, fasteners, lock washers. Like I said, he was a, a handyman, so definitely a lot of tools in this. Whoa, a lot of tools in this one. This is for um, jewelry making? I don't know. It's for like necklaces right there. Hmm, that's, that's a little different. I'm gonna put that aside. We do have a box right here of a little bit more interesting stuff that we put aside from the last video. Oh, Ryobi Detail Carver. Interesting. Hmm, nails. Fuses, nails, okay, Allen wrenches, this one right here, Allen wrenches, the guy was definitely organized. Finish washers, staples, huh. Hyper X360, what's that for? Roller skates or something? I don't know. Alright, hmm, matches. Alright guys, that one's not super interesting, so I'll pack it up and we'll get the next one. That box looks kind of interesting right there, but I think it's probably going to be a tool. Oh, mahogany top green something. Oh wow, that's actual just leather. Okay. Sweet. I did find a little bit of leather in the last episode. Wow. Okay. That mahogany, I guess, is the color black and mahogany top green leather. Okay, now that makes sense. And you know what guys, I'm not bringing that to the flea market. I'm gonna bring it to a flea market, but not Stockton. So I'm trying to load all the Stockton stuff so this trailer will not get unloaded. This will go straight to the market. Got some stuff down here that's gonna go straight to a different market. The one that we do only once per month. It's a little bit higher end market. So I'll bring higher price stuff out there. But Stockton, I'm hoping we're gonna make it out there next week. and sell all this stuff off. There's some bearing, uh, what's it called, axle grease. That's nasty. Let that go to the dump photos okay i got a little box that i'm getting back to the owner i'll get it back to the office anyways and see if they can get it back to the owner right down there bucket will sell let's try to throw a few more things in there 
There's an old level. It's kind of cool. And this is just all garbage bags right here. And that's that's good and good in that we uh will reuse those, you know. Those won't get sold. Those will be used. It's a little light bulb socket with a plug on it. That's cool. Oh, these are actually the good ones too. These are the 33 gallon ones. Usually you find them in the store. They're 30, 30 gallons, 30. And they don't fit my garbage can. I need the 33 gallons. And that's what Costco sells. Superior fishing tackles. Oh. Okay, well hang on. This is actually kind of interesting. Okay, I thought it was a tool. I'd much rather find fishing pen. Oh, okay. This is neat. That is what it is. Sakura made in Japan. It's a fly fishing. And we have some reels here, or uh, some lures here too. Got the lures, got the pole. Hmm. That is an interesting piece right here. Sakura brand. Very cool, guys. Very cool. That is definitely going to get put aside. We're going to have to do a little bit of research on that. This could be a better piece right here. So, I'm going to put that down there. Let's grab something else. Mm -hmm. Soldering stuff. Yeah. Oh, this guy's heavy. Oh, that's why. <laughs> it's completely full of tools. All right. Wrenches and stuff. Huh, neat box. Crestal, Crestaloy. Made in the USA. I bet you that's something decent. Here. Yeah, that's cool. I'm just going to bring it to the market though, but probably 30 bucks right there at least. I got this thing right here. I do not know what that is. Discharge capacitor before servicing. I don't know what that's for. It is awfully heavy. Let's get this guy down. Oh, heavy. Another heavy one. Okay. Yeah. Extension cords always sell at the market, so that's good. Hammer, sandpaper. We found a belt sander in the last episode just a little while ago when Jana was here. All right, Get this out. It's a nice little stool right here. It's Gorilla Ladders, that's a good brand. I know that because we have one. I have a couple of them, I think. Okay, another really heavy box. It's a, it's a, it's a grinding wheel or whatever you call it. Wood carving set. Ooh, that's nice. Japan. That's a little nice. I'm gonna put that aside. Okay. The pulley. That's neat. Paint, okay. Spray paints and pledge, straps, pry bar. More tools. Ooh, be careful with that. <laughs> Made in China. That's something big in here. Ryobi. It's kind of light. No, it's here. Okay. That's good. Does, needs, okay, there's the battery. Um, what's that? No, that's not the battery. That's the flashlight. Okay, so I think that goes over there. I don't know. Whatever. So, yeah, we need the battery and the charger. I haven't found those yet. That's kind of decent. I don't know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks maybe. We got another one of these long boxes. These are so cool. Antique lamp parts and drill bits it says there's the bits so zip ties all right let that go almost ready for the shelf just got to get this big boy down right here oh there's a lantern up there too i'll get this down take a look okay uh this one's heavy you put heavy ones up on top palm sander bits huh? okay wait. Oh, hang on wait a second this is oh this is this is different Oh, I like this. Okay. Let's see what we got. Leather bag, first of all. It's definitely worn. It's kind of neat, though. Oh, look at this, guys. That is definitely vintage. Piggy bank. Play Pal Plastics. 1971. Wow. It's almost as old as I am. Almost. 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 That's a neat piece. Oh, what is this? Look at this guy. He's ugly. He's also very dirty. He's also very old. Extremely old. A little tearing going on here. That's a neat piece too. Okay. Huh. Look at this. Genuine leather made in Italy on this bag right here. <laughs> it's cool. Okay, those definitely I'm putting aside to go home and be looked at a little bit closer. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for, guys. I'm happy to find that. That's made in Italy right there. Drop Ford Steel. SW728 
I is the number made in Italy. I usually put anything aside that I find that's made in Italy. It's a good indication it might be something a little better. The rest of this does not look that impressive. Let's make sure we don't have any good scissors here in China. Nope. Japan, a little better. No. All right. Look at this thing. Look at this. That is funny. That's a real, I think, a real horn. And that's a real metal. It almost looks like a plastic thing you'd find from Spirit Halloween, but it is not. It's not super high quality, but it's, it, it is the real deal. Oh, actually, it's a little comfortable, but it's not super secure. Like, it needs a strap to strap it on. And I'd say you need to tighten it on real tight. It's cushy, but, huh, neat piece. Okay, another piece going home with me. <laughs> okay, there's a cigar box. And Taiwan. Just looking for anything that's a little better, like maybe some nice uh, calligraphy pens or something. I don't, I'm not seeing it, so go ahead, go ahead and let that go. What's this? Okay, there's uh, the bits that they were referring to. Some leather here too. Yeah, a little leather pouch right there. That is neat. It's made from an old belt. Cool. Put that aside. I like things that are different. What's this? Japan. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll let this stuff go. There's some, looks like some decent stuff in there. We'll let that go to Stockton. What's this for? This is for rivets. And there's the rivets right there. Hmm, rivets. Oh, this is cool. Copper vase made in Turkey. And it's got, it's been engraved. It's got a pattern on it, engraved into it. Neat piece, I'll put it aside. That will probably, actually, I'm just gonna take that to the better flea market. Here's the bin I got down here. All the pieces here came, we came across it in the last video. There's the other piece that looks very similar to that. So we'll keep those together, even though the previous owner didn't. Oh, look at this. Another ship's wheel. We got a nice collection of them going on down here. That's the fourth one. Two of them got clocks in them. Those two are, they look like they could be functional. Look at these little guys. That's a nice box. Bon Air. It's a little socket set. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That's cool. Black and Decker. Got some nice bits in these. Oh, this is cool too. Oh, look at this, guys. This is like a uh, ship's, what do you call it, a port? I don't know if that's the right term, but nice. Brass and wood. Mount it to the wall and it's got a clock in it. Yeah, that's cool. I could tell he had like a total maritime beam in his house. Yeah, neat. Isn't that neat? Bay Burke International Quartz. I wonder if the clock's got any value. I don't know, that is cool. I'm gonna put that in here too. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, this is just, we found some drawers lined in this before. It's almost like, it's almost like cork, but it's rubber. It almost reminds me of like roofing tar or something. This thing is kind of heavy. Lay with this side up. All right, let's figure out what this is. This was on top of that last box. I'm glad it didn't fall over. I thought it was just cardboard, but apparently it is something different. This guy used so much tape. Okay, for this, huh? It's okay, but I don't think it's that great. Is that original piece of art or something? You guys recognize that? I don't know. I think that's just going to stock, dude. I'll probably regret that if it's something good, but not feeling it, not feeling it. Oh, okay, I gotta get that lantern down. Cutting board too. Oh, this is a nice lantern. All right guys, I got it in there, put the shelves back in it. We're good to go. G, two, G. All right, ooh. This is kind of, wait, okay. Let me get the top off first. Hmm. Mold it. That's cool, that's funny. Sandpaper pieces. Yep. There's another ashtray. A plastic ashtray. That's kind of funny. I be the judge of that when measuring your worth. I don't, I don't get that. Wait, what's that? Strapping or what's that for? Sheet rock or something? Oh, what's this? What is that? Oh, it's a brass piece. Screw it into the wall. And you put like your shampoo or, or toothbrushes. I don't know. That's a neat piece. It looks like older brass, vintage. Shoot, now I'm gonna have to go through everything. Now I gotta look at everything. Yeah. Let's see. 
That might be better than the one I've been using. We'll do a little upgrade. Okay, you know what? This is actually in the way. I'm, let me work here. Okay. You guys are probably like, you don't even need to tell us that. Just do it. Two glass, some awards. Please note, one is custom, hand carved, not etched, original content of this package. Oh. Wait, I thought, oh, chess boards. I thought it said some awards as a chess board. There's another chess board. There's a chess set, glass. So that's a glass one. And this one, they're saying, one is custom hand carved. This one right here is hand etched. Oh yeah, you can see where they etched it back and forth. It's kind of kind of neat. Bombay Company. Huh. <laughs> Rotate before opening. Better yet, don't open. Thanks. Yeah, I'll put it up top there so it doesn't get broken. I mean, it still might get broken, but less likely to get broken. Okay, electronics. DVD player, DVDs, CDs. Look at this guy though, he like flipped the tape over there so you have an edge to grab to. He's very meticulous. Probably was a very good handyman. Okay. Is it really good? Yeah, this box is actually looking kind of interesting. Look at this. What's this? Mag light. Hmm. Mini mag light. That's cool. Oh, there's some stamps right here. 37 centers. A couple of those. Alright, not that good, that box. Watch DVDs, the guy did not like the good stuff. He liked the weird stuff. Alright. Okay, we got a lot of DVDs here, guys, and they are not appropriate for a family channel, such as this is. Take my word for it. We're not going to show you what kind of movies the guy was into, but definitely not my taste. Not my taste. Oh, look at these old clippers. That is neat. Foster style, it says. That's some old clippers. And you know what? If we ever have like a, what's it called? An EMP strike? And they knock out all of our electricity and electronics, we might need those. A little manicure set. Now there's a nice wall. Ooh, that's a good, wow, that's a really good one. That is a really nice set of buzzers right there. Hmm, yeah. Nice little battery operated one right here. Hmm, I'll tell you what, if I didn't see the videos that the guy was into, I might actually keep those, but being said, I just saw what he was into, and I'm like, hey, he's a little freaky. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna let those go. So many stocks you can get it. DVD player. Oh, that's what it is, but it is gross. What's this? Oh, DVD Max, what's this? It's a battery pack or something. Hmm. Wow, here's another really nice buzzer as well. That one's a con air. I think I'd take the wall. There's, wait, we already found the hot plate. Unless this is a different hot plate. This is a different hot plate. Usually I don't find that many hot plates unless it's like a homeless person's locker, but that's not what this was. Look at that, Pebble Beach US Open 2010. Oh, look at this. This is what I was looking at, look at that. Bunch of coin rolls. And the pouch is kind of neat. Pebble Beach, yeah. Let's see. Let's see if it's worth the intrigue right here. Nope. <laughs> nope. That's an answer for you. And oh, ooh, but that looks like an ammo box right there. That's interesting. And this is a neat briefcase right there. Okay, okay. Okay, brushes, straps, that kind of stuff. Okay, this thing also looks heavy. It's been a while since I found one of these. These copier carts actually have a little bit of value, at least the last time I found one it did, uh, because they're very strong. They're meant to put these big, huge industrial copiers on it. So they're, they're built very, really, really strong. Okay, I'm not sure what these are for. And tarp and towels. Okay. Here, I'll just roll that right on. I feel like we're making good progress now. All right, this Coleman lantern right here, I think that's 25 bucks at a good market. And that's what we will take it, good market. Cutting board's kind of neat, because look at this. <laughs> Put that over your sink, built-in silicon strainer right there. And then this, I do not know what this is. It's Kodak, so maybe something to do with photography. It looks like it's got metal mesh in there. I don't know what that is. I'm taking a little bit of photography classes, but I don't know what those are for. 
You guys let me know in the chat if you know what those are for. So I'm kind of interested. It's just curious, really. This collector's mugs. That could be good or it could be not good. There's some poor crystal glasses. Let's get this. Ugh, heavy. It's kind of nice. Whis. Huh. I'm not sure what that is. It looks a little nice. Could be gold filled the pen. You gotta watch out for those. Could be on the lookout for them, I should say. Look at this guy's attention to detail. He leaves the plastic on the tape for what's covering here and only use the adhesive for the top and the very bottom. Gotta like the guy's style in that regard. Well, that's kinda neat. I'm gonna put that aside. That looks old. This stuff is is neat. Got some interesting drafting and art stuff here. That's cool. It's a very old iron right there. And tape. Okay. I see something made out of glass in here. Oh, there it is. Oh, and that is neat. Huh. Looks like it goes over something. That's cool. Definitely putting that aside. That goes in my better box. Okay. These are kind of light. Okay. Now, first of all, Got some more of these coca-cola baskets and that's cool because we found one yesterday i think it's around here somewhere uh it should be around here somewhere no you know what it's in my van i put it in the van because i put it aside it's i don't know if it's worth anything but man i see a lot of coin wrappers in here guys where the coins be oh this is a nice piece right here look at that made in israel export quality tamar T85. That is really pretty. I'm gonna put that aside. That, I'm feeling like that's maybe gonna make our live auctions right there. Uh oh. A piece of glass. It does not look like it's broken though. What's that from? This is a weird box. Whew. Old papers. Red Hook Brewery from Seattle. 1999. The paper. <laughs> it's over 20 years. Budweiser, they got the frogs on it, 1997. Okay, glasses I might take to a better market. Give them a shot out there. Okay, there's a couple more Coca-Cola baskets. That's great. There's, <laughs> there's an American flag. It's nylon. All right, nylon. Uh, just laughing because my friend Mike was making some predictions. If you saw the last video, or two videos ago, the last locker uh he predicted that we find a military flag from service in this locker he's giving me his predictions that's not a military uh military issue but it is a flag oh look at this bunch of tape measures grinding so okay never mind looked older it's not and screws and stuff that's good all right next bin bag bag not a bin <laughs> towels rugs nice blanket right there and yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it's going right to the market. Next box. Collector's mugs. It says, ooh, it's got some weight. Ooh, what do we got here? Wow, they are packed so tight. Ooh, this is a Stein. Look at that. Building of America Stein Collection 1985 by Avon. Village Blacksmith. Okay. Yeah. Okay, right here, Budweiser. And yeah, that's this. Oh, what is this? Hmm. Little metal guys. Hmm. That's a pencil sharpener, but these are a little different. We'll put those aside. Bring them home. Uh, these are going to. Mm, they are cool, but they're not real cool. They're just okay cool. Because they're like, I don't know, they're mass produced stuff. The steins from Germany can have some value, like significant value, but this kind of stuff is like meh. I don't want to unpack all that stuff, plus I, I mentioned that I was short on time. I did get a little extension from the management. They said I could stay here till after hours, after the gate or the office closes. He said it's cool, so I can finish. But I do have to come back tomorrow and get my security deposit back. They took a hundred bucks on each one, so I got two hundred bucks in security deposits that I got to get back. But this is really close to my house, so it's no big deal. So this is brass and pewter framed art chess set. Okay, chess set. Got it. Check. Chickity check. Let's see if it's a neat one. Oh, 
that is a neat one okay dang it not the greatest uh design they fall out every time you open it but these are cool guys look at these these are brass chest pieces this is neat oh and then look at this side oh that's what it meant brass and pewter wait did it say brass and pewter yeah brass and pewter brass and pewter chest set and then it said framed art that's something different so this is cool this is definitely definitely something that i'll put aside for our live auctions all right and did i mention that before i know i did in the last episode i mentioned in detail what we do with our live auctions so basically everything i'm putting in this bin right here is going to go home get a second look and the best stuff what we determine to be the best stuff is going to go into our live auctions all right we do those on whatnot and whatnot we usually do it on thursday nights sometimes a different night of oh, the flintstones chest set this time that is kind of neat too there might be a little bit of value here that's cool and complete and kind of neat fun <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put that aside just because all right so oh <laughs> walking sticks how to make your own this is just funny because my friend Mike when he's making his predictions predicted that we'd find canes or umbrellas like nice canes walking sticks pretty dang close to canes we haven't found them yet but there's a book and he's good at reading a locker he really is so um yeah oh jewelry box come on the one thing I haven't found yet I haven't found any gold I like to find a little bit of gold <laughs> that's not gold these are i think for fastening ceiling tiles in a commercial building but the box itself is kind of neat what not so that live streaming app made for auctions it's made specifically for live auction guys and that's what we use it for and uh that's where you can find us yeah that's neat little pulley huh. that's where you can find us on thursdays usually and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Pacific is when we do it. We don't do it every single week, but we do it as often as we can. There's a little Dremel rotary. Oh, it's, oh Craftsman Dremel knockoff, so, or whatever. But yeah, please come by and join us. <laughs> what is this? Autosonic mark, thermostatically activated. I feel like it's a alarm bell. Hmm. All right, we'll let it go. Ah, empty right there. Dang. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, this right here. Oh, I thought it was an ammo box. Emergency toolbox. All right, let's see what's inside. Yeah, so the Whatnot app, guys, go and check it out. If you haven't tried it before, use our link. I'll put that in the description of this video. And it's also on our website. Oh, that's a riveting tool right there. Gosh, that looks really expensive. Rivets, rivets. Stainless steel, what is that? That looks expensive. Hmm. Oh, those are rivets, okay. Hmm. Got some good tools in here. This thing though. Dang, that looks nice. Shoot. You know guys, I'm gonna put this stuff aside actually. Oh, that's cool too. Hmm. Because I have something that I need to uh a rivet riveted piece that I need to fasten. Ooh, what's that? A little multi-purpose tool. Oh nice. I like it. Yeah, so check it out. Use our link. It'll be in this description. It'll be on my website, lockernotes.com. If you haven't checked out our website, please do, because we have all our central links there. But what you're going to want to look for is the link to the Whatnot, because if you use our link, we're, Whatnot's going to give you $15 in spending credit for free. You'll get that for free just for trying them out. That's good right here. Palm Sander, Ryobi, I don't know, 10 bucks, 8 bucks, something bucks at the flea market so yeah this kind of stuff we probably won't put on whatnot but you see me pulling the best stuff out and that i am looking for the only the best stuff to put on whatnot because we like to have exciting auctions we run them really fast we want to run them really fun with our best stuff and i think we get some great deals <laughs> that's interesting bunch of clasps okay let's see what this briefcase is all about oh it's it's heavy yeah so use our link Come to the show. First 15 bucks you spend on whatnot. And that, it doesn't have to be with our show. You can be with any show. You can go on someone else's auction. You still get that 15 bucks. Oh, this side up. All right, they made that clear. What is this? <laughs> this is... <laughs> okay. It's, yeah. A big old set right here. Huh. Wow. This is custom jobber. Whoa. Chrome something or other. This will definitely sell at the market. Chrome vanadium something. Chrome vanadium. 
doesn't say where it was made, so I bet you it's like China or something. Not this piece, this is a Craftsman right here. That's Craftsman made in the US of A. USA, baby. Chrome vanadium. Usually I pull the Craftsman out, put him aside. I'm not sure I'm feeling that right this moment. Might just let it all go. There's another Craftsman piece right there, but this is not. I think I'm just gonna let that go, but I'll try to get a decent amount. It's hard getting a decent amount for anything like Stockton, but I will try. Okay, that's heavy. Okay, heavy goes in the middle, low. All right. Oh, whoa, that sucks. Why would he put that in there? Why would he put that in there? That really does suck. That was a cut hand waiting to happen right there. Huh, mm -mm, I don't like that. All right, but anyways, this is a bunch of plastic in there. This is kitchen and bar stuff utensils. Huh, that's a, quite a mix right here. Got a few knives in there. <laughs> that's neat, this looks old. It says Matthew on this, whatever it is. It looks, looks like a story. No, it's a vase. Yeah, we'll let that go. I don't see anything in here that will sell on whatnot. Maybe we found like some German blades or something. That thing looks wicked. Now that's not the stuff we're looking for, guys. We're looking for we're looking for best stuff. Jewelry, collectibles, coins, toys, Funko Pops. I mean, we want good stuff for the auctions. We want our auctions to be like as much fun as possible for you guys. But if you come, I mean, one thing you're gonna notice, we run them really fast. We run it fast, fast auction. And, yeah, that was empty. Dang. <laughs> yeah, it makes it fun. I do think so. That's part of the fun is how fast we go because uh, we put an item out and it's like, you get to see it. And then we start the clock 20 seconds later, boom, it's sold onto the next item. Fast, fast, fast. We sell like a hundred and usually about 150 items within a few hours. You know, one of our events is like 150 items sold in one night. So uh, a lot of fun guys, really. I can't say enough uh, how strongly I encourage you to come over and check it out and, and just hang out with us for a few hours. It's live show, you know, it's a live stream. Jan and I run them. Yeah. It's worth it all right come check it out so far maybe in the very beginning of this video we found some good stuff and some of that will make the auction so far it seems to be finding tools and regular stuff that stuff's going to market but uh let's go into these last few boxes we're getting close to the end maybe we'll find some more stuff for our auctions that's what i hope all right got the other shelf on right there this is kind of a pain to move uh but yeah got them on just need to fill them up got this box out here so some leather pieces so this is interesting. I like that box, that's cool. Craft American processed cheese. Wow, that's an old box right there. Some sewing stuff. I'm gonna dump that stuff out. The box is, yeah, I like it. <laughs> How are you supposed to get that out? Decent amount of sewing stuff in there. Last few times we've done sewing stuff in our live auction, we don't really get much for it. So I have been auctioning this kind of stuff, but I think we're gonna take a pass, just bring it to the market. There's a wood thimbles though, that's kind of neat spools or whatever not thimble spools I don't see the leather pieces I don't think that's leather no it's a mat of some sort hmm that's not leather okay there's wedding gift one of three we went through those other two boxes in the last episode that said this you know two of three 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 that was when Jana came for a little bit and uh, they were less than impressive they were I think uh, crystal house or what is it called princess house crystal not an easy sell. Dang, look at this. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, paint thinner and stuff in here. I don't think we're really supposed to store that stuff in these lockers because that's a fire hazard. That looks expensive right there. It's a connector for your trailer lights. Hmm. Happiness is a toolbox, Craftsman. It's kind of neat. Dremel piece, a little bit of leather. Ooh, these metal pieces right here. That's why it's seems way so much. And it does weigh a lot. It's another connector for your trailer. And some wires and stuff. Let's see what's in here. Fluke, it says. Oh, multimeter. All right, Fluke. I'm gonna put that aside. That might have a little value on its own. Fluke, I don't know that brand. It might be like an electrician's brand. I'm saying it might be, I really don't know. I don't know at all. There's a little bit more leather right here. Yeah, I think I'll let that go. Okay. Yeah. 
this is sort of cool i kind of like it uh, i'm in the let it go to the market mood right now i guess so uh, i'm gonna let it go to the market dry chemical it's a fire extinguisher an older one right i think it's older okay that's a neat looking box right there it's very nice it's like a it is a cooler it's an old cooler it looks like it's full of tools okay the box itself i think should probably be 20 bucks in stockton we probably won't we've probably struggled to get 10 bucks for it but i think it should be a 20 dollar box right there it's a neat piece <laughs> get this stuff down up here oh man he always put he always put the heavy ones up top too okay oh oh this is another neat box right here look at this wow vintage troll with some kind of caveman outfit on this is cool this is definitely 70s i think Eey. um i don't see any markings on it it's cracked right here wow okay that's a neat piece and i see another one of these okay we already found one of those now we found another one. Uh oh <laughs> this one however has got the loot it's got the loot it's got the loot what you got for us, piggy? I always build them with these lips on me. It didn't be that hard. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, if you can see in there, I can see in there, there's only pennies. I only see pennies. And maybe they're older, maybe they're not. We'll go through that later. Okay, the bottle. Book. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh, that's a jewelry box right there. That is a jewelry box. And we still haven't found any gold, so here's the hoping. Mom. Come on, mom. What? What is this? Don't, I don't think I want to be touching it. I'm not even sure what it is. I don't know what that is or what it's for, and I don't, don't really think I want to know. I have found a little bit of freaky stuff in here. I don't show you guys. That kind of stuff because like i said we, we run a family channel oh there's a phone <laughs> my goodness I'm trying to pull the cover off and i'm pulling the phone apart all right i'll let it go it's another phone alcatel a couple more old phones there old lg vizio oh hang on a second we have a vizio tv in there dang it yeah we have that big vizio We'll put it to the side just because when we pull the TV, I want to be able to find that. It might sell first thing in the morning. So I'll make sure that it gets with the TV. Whoa, that's kind of neat. That light fixture. It's got that pearlescent glass. That could be a little bit old. A couple more neat things in here. I'm not sure what that's for. Some beads, I guess. Okay, it's like a magnifying glass. It's got a chip in it. Let it go. There's nothing. It's a little wood box. Let it go. Nothing. Let it go. Some of those metallic balls right there. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Made China. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, there's a little multi purpose tool. That I will not let go. East Bay BMW. That's cool. That's a, that's a Swiss Army knife. It's got some kind of sticky stuff on it, though. There's another. Oh, man. All this stuff's got funky sticky stuff. There's a little pipe. Doot, doot. Usually I keep those, uh, but that one's personalized and it's sticky. All trade, that's also really sticky. I'm not really in the mood to clean it up. This one's not though. Okay. Right. Getting towards the end here, guys, so I'm, like, I'm being less picky now. But this right here, let's see. Oh, that's nice. Casino stuff. I don't know about that, but I like the box. So security card, huh? Oh, and it is in there. <laughs> okay, I'll put that in this. Return to owner pile. Dang it. A little bit of stamps. Okay, but the box itself, I like it. I love these little fast uh, candles right here. That is cool. The box is cool. I'll put that aside. That's going to make the cut. This guy makes the cut. This vintage piece. Next item off the top shelf. Briefcase. Books. Okay, nothing too interesting there. All right, top shelf products. Those are cool. Gloves. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, wow, look at this. Never used, still new, it says, on this uh, Ricardo Beverly Hills rolling duffel bag. That's actually kind of nice. Yeah, it is brand new. Dang. Okay. Hmm. All right, I'm still going to bring it out to the market, but I might ask 20 bucks on that. Perfect. <laughs> okay, that's it for the top shelf. Except for the, there's actually shelves on the top shelf. That's not what we're talking about. Okay. All right. Tools, tools. Tools, tools. Tools, tools. There's a lot of tools. I guess they're not really technically tools. That's neat. Glass handles for an old door, old doorknobs. That's cool. Not as cool. That's neat. <laughs> Look at those. Uh, and this guy, I gotta try to somehow make sure he doesn't open and everything spill out. That's a good place for that right there. Heavy, middle, low. It'd be better if it's towards the front, but that's where we're at right now, so I don't got a choice on that. But okay. Getting down the last few things here, guys. And I must say, I'm kind of happy about that. Lockers that are just mediocre, like this one has been. I'm kind of happy when they're over. It's the really good ones that I get sad when they're over. This one's just been okay. Facona bowl. Huh. Ooh, what's this? Kook quality leather. That's a big boy vest right here. What size is that? 3XL. That's kind of kooky. Oh, you know, that's what it's called, kooky. I was trying to make a joke because I thought it said kook, but it wasn't a joke. It was just dumb. It's <laughs> not a joke, Jack. That's just what it says. Not funny. Not funny. Cherry skin exterior made in China, but that's not leather. That's something else. That's nice, warm, weatherproof vintage. That's kind of nice too. Marona. Somebody's dog hairs that got all over this. Uh, so these are Wearguard Aramark. These are overalls, guys. And for some reason, I've had some success with overalls, like at the at the better market. Jack's New York right here. Made in Bangladesh. That looks kind of nice. Inker blue. What's this? Okay. What is this? Marsupi Lamy Studio Adventures. What the heck is this? This is like rubber. And look at this. Ah, uh, it says 1995 on it. The leather does not feel like 1995 leather. It feels like it's new. This He's got me interested. What the heck is this, guys? Look at the size of the zipper. <laughs> How does that work? Look at this. It's like a cartoon. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is crazy. PVC is the exterior, mostly. Size large. That is really interesting. Um, it's a little bit of separation on the collar right there. I wouldn't even say that's a big deal. That is a really interesting, really interesting jacket right there. Okay, that's something that we put aside. This stuff couple pieces that are neat but the overalls I'm tempted but they're covered in dog hair and they feel like work clothes I'll just let them go to the market okay this is handled with care this end only it's heavy too got this nice hand truck out of the last locker but I have quite a few hand trucks not like I need one but I never complain when finding a hand truck this thing's not that heavy but I'm getting a little tired and when you get tired that's when you do things wrong and hurt yourself. So if I'm starting to feel a little tired, I'm just gonna put on the hand cart and made it easy breezy for myself. I'm, whoa, what the heck? Dansk, that was sharp. What a weird knife. I'm confused right now, guys. I thought this was gonna be like a statue or something. Looks like kitchen stuff. This thing is really interesting. Salt and peppers? Oh, that's what it says, okay. Man, he packed that thing up like it's worth a million bucks. <laughs> I don't think it is. There's another. Oh, okay, wait. Now, this is signed. What does that say? Pearl? P Pear? M? I don't know. These are matching. I mean, they don't go together, but they're the same design, right? This stuff looks nice right here. They actually had some nice stuff. Made in China. Hampton Silversmiths. They look nice, though. Hmm. You know what guys, I see a lot of this silverware in there and we will sell this. This will sell in our live auction. Uh, and 
right now I'm thinking I'm, I'm actually a little bit tired so I might not go through that box tonight but I don't think I'm gonna bring this to the market too quick this might be something good right here I am a little curious about that hmm a little bit not that well this I am that's a cool piece I don't know maybe I'll let it go there's a lot of stuff in that box so it's got some potential I just don't I don't feel like going through it right in a second it's heavy too not super heavy but definitely he's got stuff in there and it was wedged in so incendiary device what pelican mighty light that's a flashlight huh. uh, what's this Ooh, what <laughs> that's in there that's nice very similar to the other piece we found the little bubble pattern in it and that's a glass piece handmade and in great condition another way another good auction piece right there if you didn't watch the last video you might not have seen me find the other pieces like that but uh we did find other pieces very similar to that I i'm excited about that some of the best stuff that we found uh oh that's a cash box that's a cash box made in england oh, oh never mind ah it's already been drilled out bummer nice tarp and uh Listerine, PP pads, some kitchen stuff. It's just personal hygiene stuff right here. Alright, right, not that exciting. Okay, it goes. Last, last thing to go through. Maybe it's got the best stuff in it. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> I'm about to find out. You never know. There's another old belt that he's probably going to repurpose. Found that before too. Nothing. It's a nice bag though. Well it was. I think it's a little used and abused. Patches. Felt. It's like sewing stuff. Some leather. Kind of repurpose stuff. Yeah, a bunch more fabric and stuff. Meh. This is not not the way I wanted to end the video, guys. Not climatic at all all right not the ending i wanted but i wanted an ending all right i wanted an end to this one because uh, i'm tired i am tired this one it's just a five by ten what am i saying Psh, snap out of it jack stop complaining i'm not complaining i'm just being you know telling you guys like it is i'm a little tired i actually uh helped my mom move some stuff this morning she's moving as i mentioned may have mentioned in this video if not i mentioned it in the last one she is moving in that trailer we got a little bit of stuff from our house uh that's gonna go to the market and we'll make it go away that's what we do but uh, i'm a little tired from that and uh yeah we've got a trailer full almost full ready for the market that means we're going to the market very soon and that's good right <laughs> i don't know it's not fantastic stuff like the last time last two times we went there we had some really good stuff i bought some good lockers and we had some big days at the market this time i don't know maybe there's prediction we like if we break a thousand uh, and then expenses come out so we come home with like 700 bucks or something but maybe better uh won't be that much worse i don't think we still have decent stuff actually this one has some tools but we spent we spent close to 1500 dollars on this locker and the other one right down the row here the two owners and then i forget what else is in here but um i don't think there's any locker stuff in here so my investment is zero my mom gave, gave me some stuff well she'll sell it and keep the money but uh, my friend chemo gave me some stuff out of his storage locker so we have some stuff in here that didn't cost me anything so we got about 1500 dollars merch here are we going to sell 1500 not at the market definitely not almost definitely that's the better stuff we've got two bins right there to take home with that jacket that is the only stuff we're taking home and maybe putting in our live auctions uh this right here is a bin to go to the better flea market those coca-cola boxes the toy ships wheels these uh glass steins bar cups whatever that stuff will take to a better market there's a little bit of money more coming out there that's where we're going to see our profit uh we'll try to recoup as much of our investment at the stockton flea market but the rest of it is you know that's where we'll grind it out sell it slower sell the better stuff and take our time and hopefully make a profit on this so 1500 bucks that's 530 here 750 there plus auction fees on this particular online auction it's 15 percent so um that added a little bit of extra expense 
no sales tax because we have a uh, resale license. So yeah, <laughs> they're not great lockers, but it, they were they were interesting, definitely interesting. And we have some cool stuff, definitely some vintage stuff, and maybe some surprises. I don't know values, guys. You probably will know before I do because we try to drop comps, and and sometimes you guys know, and you're like, hey, that's that's good. Like we just put a video out yesterday. And there's some cowboy boots, and you got, and that was a locker I paid a buck for, and I thought they looked okay, but man, in the comments, you guys are like, those are the right boots to find. There's some money there. Those are for people that have money. Uh, that's who buys those brands. I forget what brand it was, but anyways, guys, I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your insight into the stuff we find. I don't really know that much, but I love, I love researching, but a lot of that doesn't come till later when I'm editing and selling the stuff. So I appreciate the comments, really. It's fun, too. And it's, it's, it's interesting to see how much you guys know uh, far more than I do usually, almost always. So, anyways, guys, uh, but that was fun, still fun, you know. wasn't wasn't what I was expecting. I really was hoping to find a little bit of gold in this. It had that vibe to me. I was wrong. My gut lied once again. Dang it, gut. You owe me one. You owe me one. Oh man. And we had that shoe. Oh, we found the shoe in the other locker. It's a really nice echo. I put it aside because there was only one. I thought we'd find it in this other locker. We did not because we're done nothing else to go through just to, just stuff to load so let me get to that wrap it up guys we'll be back in the next episode which you know what it might be a, a garage sale picking because today's friday tomorrow's saturday jenna and i might go out tomorrow and uh, do some picking and if we do i'll try to film it because we haven't done that in a long time and it's fun all right so maybe that's the next video or i don't know something else who knows we, we, you'll know in the next time all right until then good luck to you god bless you and we'll see you next time here on Nine thousand dollars in the worth ninety-two. I got nine in the worth ninety-two. Anybody else ninety-two? Got ninety-two, ninety-four. Got ninety-two, hundred in the worth ninety-four. Got ninety-four hundred ninety-six. Got ninety